thank you for having me today and for inviting me to speak on something that um, I am very passionate about, which is wellness coaching. Um, nothing to disclose except maybe like a physician stated earlier, my love for wellness coaching um, and just in the, the belief that it is very helpful. Um, so our learning objectives today are to define wellness, define the role of a board certified wellness coach, differentiate coaching from other roles in the wellness field, identify the benefits of a wellness that a wellness coach can have with patients, and then finally to identify some key coaching concepts and strategies that you could take uh, back into your practice. So let's start with a poll. A wellness coach provides the following to patients, a diet plan to follow for 12 weeks, a treatment plan to address anxiety symptoms, individual focus, emotional support, and an individualized plan to support lasting change, education regarding the newest diet, exercise, and stress management techniques, or all of the above. All right, so pretty split here between individualized focus, emotional support, and an individualized plan to support lasting change, and all of the above. The answer is actually three, individualized focus, emotional support, and that individualized plan, which we'll talk about uh, in just a few slides. And we'll do one more poll here. Board certified wellness coaches are credentialed by the National Board for Health and Wellness Coaching, experts in behavior change, trained in numerous communication skills, including mindful listening, empathy, responding to resistance, and empathetic redirection, educated at an associate level degree or higher, or have completed at least 4,000 hours of work experience, or all of the above. All right, let's take a look. So the vast majority of you said all of the above, and that is correct. Thank you for taking part in that. So to get started today, I briefly want to distinguish the difference between health and wellness. So this graphic is put out by Mayo Clinic here, the Center for Innovation. And it's a visualization representing how health is not necessarily equal to wellness. So as we progress through this um, slideshow today, I want you all to think about that. When you think about health versus wellness, what comes to mind? And also be thinking about what comes to mind when you think about health, health versus wellness with your patients. So this vis visualization represents one way of looking at care. So the green line here right in the middle represents a person's life while they are healthy and well. At some point in time, we're gonna bump up into that orangish red line where we're gonna need healthcare. The concept represented here is that well care, so this bottom part, is really grounded in both self-care, so that solid blue line, and then that shared care, that dotted blue line in this graph. The shared care is typically a team that the patient has, and this could be their social network, their community, and a care team. A wellness coach also falls within the shared care um, model here. Shared care at some point may serve as an interaction between well care and health care in the event of illness. So the overall idea here that the Center for Innovation is looking at is looking to analyze the point where illnesses arise and to see if we can monitor health and wellness of a person over time to see if we can see a shift in something that could prevent fur further illness from occurring. So when we look at health versus wellness, we can describe health as being measured in a clinical snapshot. It's vastly a physical measurement. When we look at wellness, it includes not only physical health, but social, emotional, nutritional, intellectual, professional, and spiritual. When we look at wellness, it's a part of our everyday daily life. 
So when we think about wellness and wellness to our patients, it's important to note that wellness and its domains here are individualized to the patient. Each person is gonna have a different perspective of what makes up their wellness and how much focus they wanna put into each of these areas. When we work with patients, we talk about a wellness vision, looking at what life might look like when they're living a well life. And of course, that's gonna vary from person to person and is often gonna change over a person's lifetime during different seasons of their life. So we know that wellness tends to be highly personalized which also means that self-care needs to be highly personalized. It's gonna vary from patient to patient and it's gonna vary from day to day for that patient. So well care is not necessarily about what works for the general population and not those educational standards because not everyone is wired the same way and all of our patients are gonna have a different view of wellness. So that, now that we know this and we have a general understanding of this, how are practitioners equipped to integrate this language into their practice? How are they equipped to have these conversations with their patients?